actually just spoke to a lawyer. Good news. She said that we should be good to go uh, with everything. That's good. Hey, babe, it's me. I just want to let you know that I'm thinking of you all the time, and I'm so proud of you. Everything you're doing for me and the baby is amazing. Um, I'm just looking forward now to seeing you, so just give me a call whenever you can. I love you. I just love you, and I can't wait to see you. Good night. Corsi Crumpler didn't think she'd be in labor, racing to the hospital like this. Oh. It's terrifying and isolating. My water has broke. Um, oh, I'm so cold. I keep like getting the shakes. Her fiance, Sean Donovan, is trapped thousands of miles away, banned from traveling to the United States thanks to COVID-19. I'm so nervous. <laughs> In the modern world, increasingly interconnected, relationships are no longer bound by borders. But as coronavirus swept the globe, governments around the world invoked travel restrictions, separating binational families and couples, leaving them in limbo, not knowing the next time they'll be able to see each other. Since February, America has closed its doors to foreign visitors traveling from a growing list of nations. At the beginning, I think most people wouldn't argue with the fact that there, there needed to be some type of system in place to try to contain the spread of COVID-19. But the impact, like the ripple effect, has just gotten out of control, okay? And it's gotten out of control because of the unintended consequences. As couples wait for answers, thousands are taking to social media, pushing for action with campaigns like Love is Not Tourism and Love is Essential making the case that we are not tourists. We do not wish to travel and sightsee. We have one destination, the arms of our loved ones. We are in the middle of a pandemic, so I actually understand the travel bans. Tourism isn't necessary right now, but love is not tourism. You've got a group of people who are willing to quarantine upon arrival. You've got people who are willing to, you know, present negative COVID tests. At, uh, at the gate and do temperature checks at the gate. They're willing to follow every CDC guideline that has been suggested thus far. Facebook groups have now become a safe space for lovers around the world to offer support and guidance as they navigate new roadblocks to their long distance relationships. Uh, it's 4, what are we, 4,000 miles away? <laughs> I know, I miss you. For Corsi and Sean, this struggle has been going on for months. We never went more than six weeks or so without seeing each other. I didn't start to panic really until about mid to end of April. That left Corsi in Texas going through nearly all of her pregnancy alone. He always doted on the fact that he would have loved to take care of me during this time and I just feel like he's missing out on so much. The dad-to-be stuck in Ireland. Sean had already filled out his K-1 visa application, also known as a fiancé visa, but it was at a standstill since processing has been put on hold during the pandemic. Even approved fiancé visa holders from restricted countries like Ireland are not exempt from directly entering the U.S. But Corsi says she should have been married by now under normal circumstances. Immigration is complex even in the best of times, even in the best of situations. It's, extreme, it's extremely difficult. Then you add the layer of the COVID-19 restrictions, uh, then it's amplified. And this is a nursery. It's just a little corner of the room. All of those little swaddles are down there. All of his diapers and picture of daddy. Right there. Time ticks by. Days turn into weeks. Weeks turn into months. The stress, the depression, the anxiety. I just know that if Sean would have been here that whole time, I could have avoided months worth of emotional turmoil. A poll shows nearly half of Americans report COVID-19 is harming their mental health. The CDC has even issued guidance on coping with stress during the pandemic. There's so much like pressure and pain in my back and in my groin area and I just don't think people understand just how hard it can be to do it alone. With Corsi so close to her due date, the mental and physical strain is starting to add up. Just any day now, can't believe I've made it this far without Sean. While thousands of separated couples are desperately awaiting reunions inside the U.S., others are losing hope and patience. Okay. Uh, Super surreal. 
Some are meeting up on the border of the U.S. and Canada in a park that's shared territory. This is it, guys. This is Peace Arch Park for you. Home away from home. It looks like everyone here is like having a really nice time with like their loved ones and family and friends. Other couples stuck oceans apart are embarking on more extreme journeys. With much of the world still shuttered, Croatia has emerged as a tourist destination, welcoming visitors into the country if they can show proof of a negative COVID test. Here to get the COVID test. It's going to be loads of fun. I traveled there and met some couples using Croatia as a safe haven. I think they're realizing that a lot of people aren't traveling to Gallivant. We're not traveling to Gallivant right now. We're just traveling because this is the only way we can see each other. Kate McCulley is a U.S. citizen. Her boyfriend, Charles, lives in the Czech Republic. Did you ever think when you separated that we won't be able to see each other for three months and not know where to move? I thought, oh, mm -hmm. maybe it won't be that long. And yeah, I'm sure it'll work yeah. out. But uh, you know, it, there was really, it was looking like there was very little hope. The pair plans to move to Europe together, but for now, that's all on hold. Did you ever feel helpless? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, all yeah. the time. Another couple, Joshua from Philadelphia and Naomi from Slovenia, had plans to marry when the pandemic hit. Determined to walk down the aisle, they booked their flight to Croatia. It's important for us to not put anyone in jeopardy of this pandemic, so that's why we decided to go ahead and make it a small, tight circle, just family. Do you, Joshua Shaquille Johnson, agree to marry Naomi Woods? Yes, I do. With only the bride's parents and best man in attendance, they tied the knot. You can now congratulate. <laughs> a growing number of countries are starting to hear these couples' cries. On July 27th, the Netherlands joined the list, welcoming partners that can prove they're in a long-term relationship with a Dutch citizen. It is essentially a <laughs> documentary on what my relationship looks like from start to finish. Anna Sabrina prepared a five pound binder to verify her relationship. I was about to have a panic attack, standing there waiting for this guy to decide whether or not I'm eligible to travel. She got on a plane on the very first day the exemption went into effect after 11 months away from her partner, Chris. She just called me and uh, she ended my Nervous breakdown by uh, telling me the good news. I haven't seen him in 11 months. I'm so, so excited. Made it through customs. There you go. JFK has landed just now. And uh, now it's just going to wait for Hannah to uh, walk through these gates. I'm so happy. Despite their happy reunion, Hannah says governments have to do better. It's kind of a blow to all the people who are not married because their relationships are basically being classified as less than tourism. Sometimes being with the one you love means bending the rules. All right, it's 6 a.m. Time to go to Mexico, I guess. When we come back, couples finding loopholes in those travel bans. All right, this is the moment of truth. I hope it goes well. I'm uh, gonna have to go through customs. Plus, Sean in a race against time to reach the U.S. as Corsi faces an emergency delivery. Oh my God, the phone is shaking because I can't stop. I'm freezing. Oh, I'm so nervous. Stay with us. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.